Listen up, criminal. That whole act of you being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Facing forward, the button on your right is a yes, and the button on your left is a no. Question 1. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Have you ever come in contact with a threat shown on the board? Adds up. Fourth question. Have you ever come in contact with a threat shown on the board? I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. Have you ever come in contact with a threat shown on the board? That one gives me the creeps. Sixth question. Have you ever come in contact with a threat shown on the board? I could tell something about your answers were fishy. All right, grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. You don't even work here. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. Careful here. It's not very sturdy. Welcome to the kingdom. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show respect.
Your Majesty, I've finished interrogating the new captive. And how would you rate the fruitfulness of that interrogation? On a scale of one to ten? Zero. They don't talk much. And I think they came from the surface. The surface? That's a new one. Hmm. Did they say what they're doing down here? I'm afraid not. <sighs> I think I know. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I fear you won't find them. Most humans have ceased to come down to this floor for quite some time now. We can help with getting you back up to the upper floors, but allow us to introduce ourselves first. I am Queen Valsalia, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the Sheriff for the rough reception. We've all been a little on edge lately. I'm sure you can understand. Uh, how's the elevator back up doing, Sheriff? Not too well. It's missing some crucial parts. Three to be exact. Do you know where these parts are? Yes, Your Majesty. I was previously too occupied to go and collect them. The coming hours will be rough for us all. But this is not your battle, parent. A sheriff, accompany the parent and go grab the missing parts. But your majesty, we should be focused on protecting you. You will, once you two get back with the parts in hand. All right. You heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. You get by too well for someone who doesn't utter a word. You know that? Maybe I should talk less and see where that gets me. Much of what the Queen has said really downplayed our situation. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble, partner. The Queen's jester has gone rogue. No matter what happens, he must not make the Queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. The three parts of the elevator are scattered across three stations, which we can get to using this old transport system. I believe it's two tickets per rider. Two for me, two for you, and two for Little Beak here. There should be some scattered around here.
All aboard. You know, I get your confusion, partner. I really do. What's a massive bipedal toad with a hat protecting a giant purple kangaroo queen for? After I was thrown down here by your kind like I was trash, I was hopeless, aimless, cold, and miles away from the promised surface. Long story short, I was found and accepted at my lowest. It was then that I declared myself the ultimate protector of the queen. It's a cause worth fighting for. Good-hearted individuals deserve protection. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. The part we need should be in the administration room, within the ventilation corridors. But it looks like the door's locked. Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. Hi! I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? Stars never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the jester I was talking about. AKA, Bitter Giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the part and get out of here. Wait, I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out.
That's the part we need from this section. Let's head back and see if it'll fit. Let's, Let's head, head for the, the elevator, elevator to see if the par fits. Perfect. That's one of three. I'll stay here and put everything together. For now, maybe just hang around the place and talk to the Queen when you're ready.
Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just... admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. While not much, it is what we consider a symbol of trust. I am proud to announce that you are officially a citizen of the kingdom. Feel free to stay as much as you like, even after you get your child back. The kingdom can now proudly announce that it has reached a population of five. I say five because a friend of yours showed up while you were away. He was in a damaged state, so I told him to stay in the infirmary. He asked for you, so perhaps you could speak with him when you have time. When the Queen mentioned having many visitors in one day, I knew it had to be you. Listen, whatever happened to me, whatever I tried doing to you, just know it wasn't actually me. I was forced to obey without much thought. I tried communicating with you from afar for a reason. Now you know the true reason why. Still, I want to make it up to you. The Queen filled me in on the situation with the elevator. I want to help with that. I feel much more in control now. I'll come help you find the missing pieces of the elevator. I just need to rest for a little bit and I'll meet you at whatever that station is. listening to me and leaving when you had the chance. You have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. A position where neither of us can get to the children. This is your fault and nobody else's. I meant it when I said I would practice the safest of procedures. But regardless, I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. 
Agreed. Grab some of the vegetables next we collected and eat. Oh, they're all finished. I already have consumed my share of the nutrients you have gathered while you were in your slumber. Me too. Sorry about that. I have never witnessed kindness coming from a spider before. Man, if Jabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. I am pretty content that he's not gracing us with his irritating presence. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is... One of the two emotions I am unable to control. What's the second one? Sorrow. Not again. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Our lives aren't. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the Captain can help. Captain? As expected. What's that sound? Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Where have you been? I've been waiting for a while. The next piece that we need should be at the second station, the feeding sector. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves, which we haven't done up to this point if you can believe it. I am Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down. Literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. But then again, my co-workers weren't really friends in those last couple of months anyway. So it would have needed some good planning. You ever had those friends that suddenly turn on you for no reason? To say mine turned on me would be an understatement. They suddenly stopped talking to me. They looked at me like I was some sort of monster. Sometimes I lose my temper, sure, but it seemed excessive. 
I was and still am confused, to say the least. We're here. Let's get going. Wait, get down. That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. That wasn't locked the last time I was here. Can't be too hard to get it open though, right? Wow, you just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. Your greed knows no limits, only controllable for minutes. You can have the crown, I couldn't care less about that. But can I at least have some applause for my little poem, please? Don't listen to that guy over there! All he cares about are his poems! I'll show you something that's actually impressive. A magic trick! Open sesame! I think I earned a round of applause for that.
another door. Doesn't look like the second one takes a key card though. Before we grab the elevator piece, there is something I need to do first. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Wait, no, nap, nap. We can't let nap, nap take him. I tried fixing you so many times that you are just unfixable. Enough is enough. I can control it. I know I can. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere.
That's two or three. Great work, partner. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it, and the elevator a little more usable. We're very close to having it fully fixed. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived, if you'd like to go check on them. This is the first entry to what I will refer to as the Toadster Archives, where all information gathered about criminals will be recorded. Criminal number one, the Snail, was captured near the front gate of the kingdom while I was on patrol. The Snail was captured while hiding in her shell and has remained hidden since. It was initially thought to be an empty shell husk until quiet crying was heard coming from within the shell. All attempts to convince the snail to leave her shell have failed. The reason for this extreme distress has not yet been determined, but I have a theory. This criminal ain't from around here, so it's possible that this foreign hostile environment is what's causing this unnatural behavior. More updates soon. This is the second entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor, where a human was also captured earlier. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late, to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. This is the third entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on him. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster Archives. 
Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained, so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, we've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. It hurts seeing familiar faces in this state, but I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon.
I won't lie, I thought the dinosaur would finish you off. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I tell you a very fitting joke, but you humans just never seem to get them. The closest people to me denied me what I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! They cited some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the Queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester! There was nobody better to be made, even if by me!
with the sheriff occupied. Reaching the queen will be a piece of cake. I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for, and deliver my jokes! This is my best back yet! I command you to leave, and not tell any jokes! Give me that satisfaction one last time. All I want is to make you laugh. But you know what will happen if I laugh? I do. And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore. I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain. I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hop on! <laughs> Was terrible. We gotta run! This entire floor is going down! The naughty ones are escaping! I've managed to get the elevator to work, but only partially. It can only go down, but right now, we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else! The naughty ones are escaping! I've managed to get the elevator to work, but only partially. It can only go down, but right now, we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else!
everything we've worked so hard to build just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go, but grab this one. The things he knows will definitely be useful. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. <laughs>